Redskins with substitute had to go back. Second down and nine from the 16 of Michigan. Eason back to throw. Pass over the middle. The pass is complete to the five. And that stops the clock as they move the chains. First and goal to go, Illinois at the Michigan five. Did you think the wind would make a difference, Keith Jackson? Oh, I'll tell you, this day like this, it makes an horrendous difference. Enormous difference. Mike Martin, the leading receiver in the country, breaking right in and getting open behind the linebackers. He's caught 64 passes this season, the best ever for an Illinois player. He's caught eight for 82 today, first and goal at the Michigan five. 50 seconds, 50, 47 seconds. Eason on a roll, puts it in the end zone. He threw it too high. He had Martin. He tried to touch it into Mike Martin, and he got it just a little high. Very Stop. good. Keith is very good call. Rolling out. This is a touch. The pass they scored on the touchdown before. Look how wide open yeah, Martin he is. He's behind everybody, but Eason has to throw the ball too high to be sure and get it over the linebacker Gergash number 50's head. It is second down and goal to go and 43 seconds to play in the game. Illinois with two timeouts remaining. Remember, Illinois has not beaten Michigan in the 13, 15, 15 years. 25, 25 years here 15. on this field. Eason coming out with it. Throws incomplete. He had Murphy had it on the numbers and then he was walloped. By Gergash, number 50, knocked it loose. Watch this, fans. The ball is completed, but he has to take approximately two steps with the ball. Watch number 50. The difference in winning and losing. There's the receiver. He's got it. But two men hit him, and the ball pops out, and it's incomplete. Now it's third and five. Third and goal. There's Gergash, number 50. Not very big. 205 pounds, but a big heart. Oliver Williams is in, number 17. Oliver is 6'4", 190, uh, wide out. Mike Martin is the other wide out. Third and goal with 37 seconds to play in the game. Got to put some rush down. You've got to put some rush down here if you're going to stop. Pass is caught at the two by Tim Brewster, and Mike Boren brings him down, and Illinois calls time with 27 seconds to play. Fourth and goal coming up. If Illinois can get its touchdown on this last play for them of this ball game, and obviously they will not get another play unless there is a defensive penalty. So, goodness knows what all is riding on this one, but most importantly, a potential win if the Illini can convert it. They give the ball, they're gonna run it, they don't make it! Don't believe it. I'm in a state of shock. I don't believe it. I don't believe what I just saw. Michigan guessed right because Michigan's in a gap eight. And when uh, Illinois came out in two tight ends or a tight end and wing back, they guessed right and they went up and penetrated in their regular goal line defense. I never in the world thought they would no. go away from the passing game on the fourth down. Well, well the element of surprise. Watch it. Look, it's a running formation, Keith. They're yep. not in the, their uh, regular spread formation, which they might have been in. They're in a running formation. Look at the white shirt. No there was no either. chance. None. Michigan is too good on the goal line. They're not a running team. Can't score very often from there. On fourth down, I guarantee you they can't. Well, the ball game is over as far as the Illini are concerned. All the Wolverines have to do is take a snap and run out the clock. Let's look at the two coaches' reaction after that last play. Mike White on the right of Illinois and Bo Schembechler, you know, and that tells the story right there. Bo Schembechler won 82% of his games. Oh, he started grinning when he saw the Illini come out of the running formation. <laughs> you saw it, Keith. I didn't say this. I don't blame you. 